Oh yeah, I've been thinking about this great big ocean. Thinking about what lies beyond. <laughs> I've been picturing this tiny island. The kind of one we should be on. <laughs> Bam! We're here to write songs. This is where I come to uh, write songs with my little toy guitar. Uh, Sunset Cliffs in San Diego, California. As you can see, the ocean, the Pacific Ocean is quite vast. But when the waves are coming at you, it feels like God or the universe or whatever you want to call it is giving you an energy and the energy sometimes gives you songs. Two wheels I, ca I came up with here. Uh, my entire new album, Lifetime Achievement Award. From there's, something, there's something about the fact that these cliffs could just fall down at any time that makes it even more magical and special when you write here. I'm a fucking sensitive, emotional creature. I'm a human being from the earth. I'm from the fucking planet earth, just like that goddamn flower right there, you know? Just like those birds that are out there with their short lives just trying to catch a fish, I'm out here trying to catch a vibe and the waves come to me and hopefully it will give me something, you know? And I find that sometimes when I'm in a studio or surrounded by computers and artificial light, that's what the music sounds like. <sighs> Be careful. What happens sometimes when I come to my spot, it's just a very specific spot where there's a bench. And maybe 10% of the time when I come here, there's somebody seated on my bench. It's not my bench, it's a public bench. Anybody can sit on there. But uh, if somebody's there, I either have to just kind of walk around and find a different place to play my guitar, or I'll just sit right next to them and just start playing. We'll see, we'll, have to, we'll scope it out today. <laughs> Dang. I'm going to refrain from sitting on the bench. That was a first, actually. Usually the dogs down here are nice, not fucking assholes. A woman selling jewelry by the beach in San Diego, who in hindsight might have been hiding a halo. Explain to me her take on life, metaphorically, by asking, why do people bungee jump, rhetorically? She said there ain't a point. It's strictly for the thrill, just for the fun of it, the rush, if you will. And you've been in free fall since the day that you were born when you jumped out of your mother's pussy dangling from a cord. As a writer, I was moved. As a human, I was sad. I want to live my life like that so fucking bad. I want to feel alive. I really do. But this misery just sticks to me like dog shit on my shoe. I can't take it. I don't know if most people just fake it or they never got this gift slash curse that I was braced with, graced with. At that moment, it was kind of bizarre. A so an old song played from a passing car. Oh, she's leaving. It's very rare. It's very rare that somebody's there. Very rare that somebody's there sitting on my motherfucking chair. The dog barking at me and I got all scared. Damn near shit in my fucking underwear. Ugh. <laughs> I used to just start by like messing around and kind of looking around, watching the birds. I'm working on one song right now. It's kind of in the beginning stages of development. I don't think, I don't know if it'll ever come to fruition or not. A lot of, you know, a lot of the songs you just kind of get to, a, you get to the 20 yard line and then you got to punt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you got to punt. Uh, I mean, your own 20 yard line, by the way, you know? If you're at the other team's 20 yard line, you go for field goal, which I don't, I don't know what analogy that would be in songwriting terms, you know? That's when you get a feature, you know what I'm saying? You're like, I can't finish this last verse. Kick the field goal. Get somebody else to do it. Um, this song is funny to me because, say if you're a rapper writing to a beat, right? You know, and you're sitting at your house, you got the beat in your headphones or in the speakers or whatever, you know that you ain't got nothing to say and your inspiration is gone if you start looking around the room. Like, what rhymes with lampshade? What rhymes with curtains? You know what I mean? That's when you know that you're kind of out of inspiration. And sometimes when I sit and look at the ocean, <clears throat> like I told you, I feel like songs and energy is coming in, but sometimes I'm just sitting here looking at the ocean. Yeah. Uh. I've been looking at this great big ocean, thinking about what lies beyond. I've been picturing a tiny island, the kind of one we should be on. We should just move today, nothing should get in our way. No reason to delay, I picture it every day. It's something like blue skies, good times, sun and moonlight in our lives. <laughs> mm -mm. 
That other part would be like, blue sky, good time, sun and moonlight and all light. Oh yes, go west, lady, no stress in our lives. Two, three, four. I've been looking at this great big Pacific Ocean or whatever the fuck, you know? That's where I'm at in the song. And like, you know, I got a couple part pieces. <clears throat> Do I even want to go through it? Is it too basic? Good times, blue skies, looking at the ocean, thinking about an island? <clears throat> I don't know. Dude, rip that hook again and see what comes to you. Mm. It says, Ooh, blue skies, good times. Sun and moonlight in our lives. Oh yes, no stress. We're so blessed. That's too rappery. So blessed, go west. Oh yes, no stress. You know, sometimes like I, you know, I want to, I want to do something that's a little bit, you know, like. Well, it's a cloudy day today, baby. No, <laughs> no clouds. Oh wow. Now we'll go now all the lies. And then the second verse, like, if you've been looking at the great big ocean, maybe it's like, I've been, I've been looking at that big horizon, thinking about what's, what's past. <laughs> I've been picturing Hawaiian islands, margaritas in a tall draft, or something like that, you know? Maybe we'll move tomorrow, maybe we'll get to borrow, borrow. <laughs> I got another one I'm working on. There's certain phrases, take shits and giggles, for example. Yeah, it's a cuss word, but shits and giggles doesn't sound like a cuss word, right? And this phrase, oh yeah, I'm about to get the fuck out of Dodge. Like fuck kind of slips by you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't, you don't say I'm gonna get the fuck out of Dodge. You don't say it like that. You say, I'm gonna get the fuck out of Dodge, you know? So that's why it doesn't feel like a cuss word when I'm like, About to get the fuck out of Dodge. About to get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> Gonna pull my car out of the garage. Jump into the airplane fuselage and get the fuck out of Dodge. Might head to the west, or maybe the east, or maybe up north where I may need a fleece. I might migrate south like Canadian geese, or head to Texas and go to Katy at least. One thing's for sure, I need to explore. Sick of looking down at the same old floor. Something, something, something wanna open the door and fly high above the ocean and soar and to the yonder. Cause right now my time is being squandered. And that's a wasteful trait, it's not honorable. The gas tank in my Honda is full. And death's staring at me, he's an anonymous fool. I got my passport on me. Does anybody wanna ride along with me? It's not a mirage, I'm really about to get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> About to get the fuck out of Dodge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. About to get the fuck out of Dodge. Gonna pull my car out of the garage. Pull, pull my car out of the garage. And jump into the airplane fuselage and get the fuck out of Dodge. It's a big old world, gotta see it. This tiny life about to leave it all behind. You gotta get lost first if you're trying to find yourself. I'm about to lose my mind, uh. I ain't got no more. I'm uh, even fucking up the chords. <laughs> Worse than before. Open up like drawers. I used to go on tours. Now I change them dirty drawers. <laughs> and that sounds like I'm being negative about my family, right? You know what I'm saying? But I wish I could bring them with me. That's what I just played you of that song is where I'm at with the song. I'm in the second verse. I don't know if I'll ever like that. I'm not going to take that to like the I don't think I'm ever going to produce produce that. I'd play that in like an acoustic show for, for shits and giggles. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, so I, I generally just kind of write what comes to me, which is usually based on my life. Things that are happening in my life <clears throat> are what my songs are based on. That's why a lot of my old songs are about drinking because 
I'm an alcoholic, so I was always drinking, you know what I mean? So I'd have good songs about drinking, bad songs about drinking, songs where drinking is just the backdrop, but it was always about drinking. So recently I've just been in love. So I've been writing all these love songs, you know, it's a little cheesy, but I want to hold on to you like a family and squeeze you every day like my toothpaste too. Keep you by my side like the keys in my pocket. Girl, you got me high, it's like I'm riding in a rocket or the cockpits of a plane. My brain won't stop thinking about you. I wanna hold on to you like a family heirloom. <laughs> uh. God damn, you are better than the average. And I am doing better than I've ever been. I'll get you locked down like it's 2020 back again, yeah, yeah. And keep you in my corner to the very, very, very end. I'm gonna keep on loving you. And hold on to you like a family alone. I squeeze you every day like my toothpaste too. Keep you by my side like the keys in my pocket. Girl, you got me high, it's like riding in the rocket to the cockpits of a plane. My brain won't stop thinking about you. I wanna hold on to you like a family heirloom. Ooh yeah, I'm in love with you infinitely. And I'm addicted to this feeling that you're giving me. I'm trying to keep you in my proximity, yeah, yeah. And keep you there until I'm dead like chivalry. I want to keep on hugging you. And hold on to you like a family alone. Squeeze you. Every day like my toothpaste too. Keep you by my side like keys in my pocket. Girl, you got me high. It's like I'm riding in the rocket to the cockpit of a plane. My brain won't stop thinking about you. I wanna hold on to you like a family heirloom. Working on that one. Making some mistakes here, but you know what? That's life, you make a lot of mistakes. See those birds out there? Now it reminds me of my family, like, you know, I would mind saying something like, if we move, we move, yeah. From now until forever. I told you I'd be true. It's the old school word when you say I'd be true to your woman. I was thinking about like, I don't have my wedding ring on right now, because that's a whole different story. But, but you know, when I when I got married to my wife, I kind of like I really felt the vows. You know, what I'm saying like, I felt like okay, I'm, we're doing this forever. You know, when we if we you know, so now that's the three of us. It's like if we move, we move together. From now until forever. I told you I'd be true. <laughs> I meant it when I said I do. It's a very che cheesier song than I would normally write, you know? <laughs> I meant it when I said I do. <laughs> it's a weird, like, va it's a very vowel y sentence. I meant it when I said I do. I meant it when I said, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I meant it when I said I do. <laughs> but that's how I would start writing a song, you know what I'm saying? Just just sometimes like uh, things that you see make you think of other things, you know what I mean? Um, a song like that, I might never finish because I ain't self-conscious about the cheesiness of it. That said, I write a lot of cheesy shit, you know? Uh, the one I'm working on now is the other love song. 
You want to hear this one, Quinn? I need to hear, I need, I need uh, reassurance from you. <laughs> this, is a, this is a love song I'm working on called Lucky that I think I can pull off. I'm lucky to have someone like you who loves me. I'm living in the lap of luxury. Lucky to be loved by you. You got me smiling and giggling, feeling just like a kid again. Whenever I look at you, it makes me feel magnificent. Your love is like the coffee in my morning mug. It fills me full of energy, yes, you warm me up. Sometimes I wonder to myself, am I dreaming or not? That loving that you got makes me feel like I hit the jackpot. Ugh, I won the lottery, I give you all of me. Lying next to you is where I ought to be. What did I ever do to deserve this blessing? I can't figure it out, I just keep on guessing I must. Just be lucky to have someone like you who loves me. I'm living in the lap of luxury, yeah, yeah. I'm lucky to be loved by you. Did a four-leaf clover hop up in my backyard? Did I help an old lady cross in the boulevard? Back in the day, and this is repayment for that good deed. When John Lennon said that love is all you need, he wasn't specific enough. Cause I only need yours, your love melts in my mouth and soaks into my pores until I'm full. You know, as a matter of fact, everything else besides your love, it's just a bunch of bull. <laughs> what did I ever do to deserve this blessing? I can't figure it out, I just keep on guessing I must. Just be lucky to have someone like you who loves me. I'm living in the lap of luxury. I'm lucky to be loved by you. Yeah, 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 I'm lucky to have someone like you who loves me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that song's pretty much done. I didn't realize, like sometimes I'm like, oh shit, that's just done, you know? Again, so I'm showing you right now that a lot of the stuff I'm working on is kind of like cheesy love songs, but I am in my 40s now, you know what I'm saying? And I have a baby and I do feel a lot of love. I used to not feel so much love. Right now I'm in a good stage of my life. It's taken me a long time to get there, but uh, I'm actually mostly fucking jolly, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes my music has been reflecting that recently. I've been a lot... A lot of major keys. Opportunity, seldom does it not. Gotta get it while you can, it's like it's going out of stock. Can be difficult to find it when your mind is in a rush. Gotta slow down. Hush. Since I was a fetus, I've been breathing, never stop. My heart, I had to beat it like it was the king of pop. Now the beating and the breathing is the thing I never miss. It can make you think that it's a given, but this deceiving lie is a thief of my time. Don't even know why. No reason to rhyme. No reason to rhyme. No reason to rhyme. No reason to rhyme. Soon as you know what you've got, it's gone. Something, something just goes on and on. Soon as you know what you got, it's gone. Something do, 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 on and on. I need a second verse. But sometimes, like, that's my that's my change right there, the one five. Those two chords. I only need two chords. That's the, those are my favorite chords right there. As a matter of fact, I got another song where I'm using doing the one five. Like, this is this gonna be fire when I finish it. I ain't trying to brag, but damn, I'm bad. Bad meaning good, like Michael Jackson would have meant on that album he had. I ain't trying to flex, just telling the truth. Get me in the booth and I'll give you all the proof you need to argue on my behalf. Uh, la, 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 la,
la 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 I just realized, it's funny, when you play your own shit, you don't really realize it. Both of those songs I just played had a Michael Jackson reference. The first one I said, my heart, I had to beat it like I was the king of pop. And this one I said, uh, I'm bad, like Michael Jackson would have been on that album he had. So I just realized, like, I, that's two Michael Jackson references right there in two similar songs. So sometimes it takes, like, uh, the fact that you're recording and I'm kind of thinking about this from the perspective of somebody else listening to it makes me listen to the, the music in a whole different way. You know what I mean? If I'm here by myself, it's much more like just happening and you don't notice things that you do notice when you're thinking you're putting it out there for public consumption. Things such as like, oh yeah, that they both have a Michael Jackson reference. That's kind of weird. I must have just, I just watched a Michael Jackson documentary recently. You know what I'm saying? Things sink into your mind without you think. I just watched that Michael Jackson documentary. So now I'm out here thinking about Michael Jackson all the time, writing him into every fucking song I have, apparently. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sensitive person and I have a strong sense of self-doubt. You know, there's kind of two, it's basically two kinds of people in this world, especially two kinds of rappers. There's rappers that brag about themselves because they believe it. And there's rappers that brag about themselves because they desperately want to believe that they're the greatest. You know what I'm saying? I am the latter of that. And in this song, the, the, the former is a pirate. Like a pirate doesn't fucking have any doubts about anything. You know what I mean? And, uh, the parrot who repeats everything that he hears from his brain. I'm like really giving away the song with this explanation. It's not like the lyrics say anything different than I'm saying now, but I'll just play the song. Mm -ooh, the parrot on my shoulder tells me I'm not enough. He tells me once a minute every day. He lives next to my head and he can hear all my thoughts and he repeats everything that I say. I wonder if I'm ever gonna get to that point of feeling comfortable in my own shoes. The day that parrot dies, I'm gonna light up a joint and bake a cake to celebrate the good news. Ooh, 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 ooh. You got the wrong guy, I, 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 You got the wrong guy, I, I. You got the wrong doo-doo. You got the wrong doo-doo. A pirate is a person who don't ever think twice. He doesn't have any insecurities. The parrot tells him everything he does is the shit because he repeats everything he believes. I must look like a pirate because this parrot I got don't want to leave me no matter what I do. My brain is my worst enemy. I hate it so much. I wish I could buy a brand new attitude. Ooh. You got the wrong guy, I, 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 I. You got the wrong guy, I, I. You got the wrong doo doo. You got the wrong doo doo. You got the wrong man, goddamn, goddamn. You got the wrong man, goddamn. You got the wrong guy, I, 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 I. You got the wrong guy, I, I. You need to fly away. Give me my freedom, I need it, why don't you fly away? Fly away. Give me my freedom, I need it, why don't you spread your colorful wings and fly away? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, I like that one. It was, with that lyrics and the, like, I, like, you don't really hear a song like that too often, you know what I mean? So, like that Lucky song I played earlier, like, you heard a song like that. It's a cool song, but like, you know, you heard a song like that. That one's a little different. So that's kind of, this, that's kind of what a day of me writing songs would kind of feel like and look like. Except I'd be on my fucking bench that I like to sit at. If I was, a, if I was to write about the bench getting stolen, it's like, it's a public bench, it's not mine, you know what I'm saying? Reminds me of when uh, the rich people went broke during the Depression, you know what I'm saying? Big shock to them. And they probably were mad about it just like I was mad about that, that bench. So it's like, if I were to take a key from that experience of that lady taking my bench, I would look at it like, you don't, you don't deserve everything you want. In fact, the word deserve is a questionable word in itself. People always talk about what they deserve. They, 
People are born with immeasurable amounts of wealth and people are born into immeasurable amounts of poverty. Who deserves anything? Nobody deserves shit. You work hard, nothing happens. Some people are lazy and they get everything, you know? So there's no such thing as deserve. Sounds like I'm gonna go into a song, like I just made like a little preamble, but. What's that dude, you know Eckhart Tolle? You heard of Eckhart Tolle? It's like this philosopher guy who just like, his whole philosophy is just to sit on a park bench for days on end and just kind of meditate and be in the moment. That's his thing. Maybe that's Eckhart Tolle's fucking daughter over there, you know? What would you deserve you do? Yeah, you don't deserve everything you think you do. Sit down, it is hard to see thee do. You don't deserve it, everything you think you do. Sit down, shut up, and do to do, do. You don't deserve that thing that you think that you do. Sit down, shut up, and da da do. <laughs> you don't deserve that thing that you believe you do. You don't deserve everything you believe you do. So sit down, shut up, boo hoo hoo. <laughs> bitch, stop crying, boo. Bitch, why are you crying, a boo hoo hoo. You don't deserve everything you think you do. I like, I like, see that, that one I would think like boo hoo hoo would be a fun thing. Like if you're doing it live, everybody says boo hoo hoo. All right, all right, everybody. Like, so when I say, uh, stop crying, it goes boo hoo hoo. I want all y'all to go boo hoo hoo. And that's when I imagine all the birds going boo hoo hoo, you know? Sit, no, bitch, maybe not, bi maybe bitch is cool. Maybe bitch is cool. Bitch, stop, because if you're talking about yourself, so looking in the mirror saying, bitch, stop crying, boo hoo hoo. You don't deserve everything you think you do. You need to sit down, shut up and practice more. <laughs> you don't deserve everything you dumped in for, that you worked for. Bitch, stop crying, boo hoo hoo. You don't deserve everything you think you do. Sit down, shut up, and go work more. You don't deserve everything you're asking for. I'm saying that everybody to da cha 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 da 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 I like, I like like just simple chords and like stuff that's like children need, children's music. I've always been like that. My biggest song, Rosanna, it sounds like a children's song. It's about, it's about a girl that want, that's a nymphomaniac and always wants to have sex and shit, but it sounds, it's like da 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 It sounds like Fisher Price came up with that melody. All my songs are like that. So it's like, bitch, stop crying, boo hoo hoo. You don't deserve everything you think you do. You sit down, shut up, and rehearse more. You don't deserve everything you're asking for. Ah, da, 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 da. When God gave out talent, he didn't give you much. <laughs> when he gave out a, people with strong legs, he should have gave you a crutch. <laughs> When God gave out beauty and you fell and hit every branch. What's that, the beauty tree, the ugly tree? When God dropped you on the ugly tree, you hit like 17 fucking branches. I definitely am not writing the same way I would because I, I, you can feel the, and this is, this is for the video. Like you can feel the camera on you. It's a different thing, you know what I'm saying? Like freestyling is different when you feel the eye of, the, of somebody else, you know, it's interesting. Like I wouldn't out loud do what I just did, you know, it'd be more in my head, you know? But I do like, uh, I do like, bitch, stop crying, a boo hoo hoo. <laughs> you don't deserve everything you think you do. So sit down, shut up, and go work more. Cause you don't deserve everything you're asking for. When God gave out opportunity, he didn't give it evenly. And you can complain all you want, but he's not gonna get anything for free, whatever. <laughs> when God laid down, the, when God gave the fucking... <laughs> the chorus is pretty good though, see, okay. Okay, Quinn, 
This, this is what I would do at this point. At this point, this is what I would do. I would get out my phone and I'll get my voice memos app out, hit record, and I would, I would do this. I'd go, I'd go, I'd go, bitch, stop crying, boo hoo hoo. You don't deserve everything you think you do. You need to sit down, shut up, and rehearse more. Cause you don't deserve everything you're asking for. Hey, yo, if God was giving out something, could give you like an inch and a half. If God was giving out dirt, I wouldn't even need to take a bath, whatever the fuck, but you know, if, if, I would just get that far. I would get that far and then, and then make sure I have it, you know what I mean? Because I always get nervous that I'm gonna forget ideas. I heard somebody say it's not a good idea if you forget it. I don't agree with that at all. Whoever said that was not a creative person. You know, if, you, if you're creative, you're always coming up with ideas, man. Um, creativ creativity is actually a curse in a lot of ways. Um, you're plagued by ideas, you're plagued by new ideas when you fucking didn't finish your old idea. So that's why I always put ideas down on a piece of paper. Now it's like a notepad app piece of paper and uh, or on my voice memos app because I'll forget it. I don't agree with the person who said that all you need is a good idea because it's much, much, much more important that you execute that good idea. Good ideas plague, I'm not gonna say good, ideas plague me in my sleep. I'm not gonna say they're good. They're not all good, they're probably horrible, you know, but one day I'll come up with a good idea. So far the idea that I have is being an artist named Wax and it's okay, I get by with it, but I could probably come up with a better idea than that and make a lot more money off the idea. Like Wax is no fucking Larry the Cable Guy. You know what I'm saying? Larry the Cable Guy was a regular comedian before that who had some success, but he thought of Larry the Cable Guy and then he moved, and now he lives in fucking a billion dollar house next to Steve Jobs. You know what I mean? Steve Jobs died, right? What's the, what's up? Jeff Bezos. He walks out and gets his paper every morning as whatever his real name is. It says, what's up, this Jeff Bezos. And then he goes to work as Larry the Cable Guy and makes a gazillion dollars. Now what I need to do is find my Larry the Cable Guy. I'd be much better off doing that, you know? My idea of just being myself and writing my little songs is not necessarily the greatest idea. I'd be better off writing children's songs. I could come up... Last night I was giving my daughter a bath. I came up with this character, Krusty Dusty. I'm Krusty Dusty. And as the song was, bath time bonanza, bath time bonanza. Oomch, ah, Bath time bonanza, bath time bonanza. And I was doing all the verses about like, first you gotta clean your feet. Then you gotta clean your legs. It was like an updated version of the foot bones connected to the knee bone kind of thing. Except it was in terms of a kid taking a bath. And the character was like this cowboy disco guy named Krusty Dusty. And the song was called, that time bonanza. If I got into a studio for a week and made songs like that, I could make more money than I've ever made in my entire career as wax. But, but guess what? I'm not gonna execute it. See what I'm saying, Quinn? It's not about the idea, it's about the execution. Think I haven't had ideas? <laughs> I have a good idea. This episode is gonna be sponsored. And the, uh, the company that it's being sponsored by is Wax the Artist. So if you want to support our show, you can go to wax.com.com and buy t-shirts, you can buy my vinyl, and you can even just go stream my music on Spotify, and you'll be supporting our sponsor, Wax, the sponsor of Wax. It's nice having the little guitar because you don't really have to worry about it getting messed up. That's why I got it, you know? But also, like, it sounds like shit. So like if something sounds good on this, you know it's going to be good, you know? But you can see how, like, I always have a few different things that I'm working on, like a a dozen songs or so. And then when I leave, one of them is stuck in my head. For me right now, it's the one that I had where it was um, no reason to rhyme, where it's like, opportunity, seldom does it not, gotta get it while you can, it's like it's going out of stock. Uh, whatever it said after that, but the melody is stuck in my head, you know? I've been looking at this great big ocean, thinking about what lies beyond. I've been picturing this tiny island, the kind of one we should be on. Uh, uh, uh. 
we should just leave today. Nothing should stand in our way. I don't know the exact lyrics. No reason to delay or something like that. And then it's like, mm. blue skies, good times, sun and moonlight in our eyes. Something, something. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She does love me. You know. Sometimes I try too hard to be clever. Ha <laughs>